Welcome back to What Arty Nips with General Disturbance. Now this is an M12, the Tier 7 American SPG. And we're located on the south spawn of Lakeville. And the commander of this vehicle is Juraj336. And battle has commenced. Well, the M12. Only built a hundred of these beauties. On the chassis of an M3 Lee, as you can see. They built 60 in 1942 and a further 40 in 1943. Now the gun is actually a French design. It's a very successful design from First World War. 155mm. And they built several different types. And he's fired at that gorilla. Oh, one shot kill straight away. Out the ball. Out the gate, so to speak. That is really brilliant, that one. So he's taken up his first arty. Now, there is only two, there's three arties on the enemy team. So he's got another two to go to get a counter battery. But he's going after a Skoda T24 first. Sitting in that bush, round out. And another one shot kill, 450 hit points. Now, who said that they've actually nerfed arty? Well, not according to that evidence. I don't think so. That's two one shots in quick succession. Of the four kills so far for his team, he's got half of them. Okay, he's loaded, ready to go. Okay, MX-13 AM, that's one of the enemy RT, and he's rushing across there. Can he get a tracking shot round out? Yes, he got him! Oh God, that's a third kill! Two RTs already! Brilliant shot that was. Oh, I can see Juraj has actually had a lot of experience with the M12. Okay, T1 Heavy, just on the outskirts of the town. It's a bit open, this area now. Dialing in on him. Had to, he's on the move, round out. Oh, he hit the rear. That definitely hit the rear of the vehicle. 260 hit points. Very good strike. Now, he can't get that Type 58. He can possibly get that Leopard. That's the VK-1601. Okay, he's loaded, ready to go. Well, the leopard just took a big hit, so a splash should be enough to kill him. And he does! Two hit points, but it is another kill. And that brings up the fighter badge. Now, this water's lovely and blue, but it's very deep, so don't go swimming. Okay, Panzer T-25, he's indicating target. Still waiting for the load to complete. Okay, he's ready to go now. Dialed in, and round out. And another one shot kill, 610 hit points, that's five kills, and he's picked up the high caliber so far. My god, this clay is good. Now, it's rare that you see the M12 handled with such proficiency, but uh, Juraj obviously knows how to play this uh, SPG really well. Now he missed it on that opportunity there, he's got a red line so he can't hit there, in fact, I don't think he can get any more shots in on it, so he's going to have to reposition. Now he can probably hit it now, yes, because he's looping the shell over the buildings. I uh, can just get it. Dialed in and round out. And a kill shot, 94. That's his top gun. He's certainly going for it. Six kills so far, but the enemy is capping. This is an encounter battle, so it's all about the town center, not about the valley. They have conquered the valley. In fact, actually, one of their arties has gone up the valley, but Tiger P, round out, hits him square for 282. Looked like it hit the front, so he stunned him. Let's bring up the minimap a little more, because it's going to be a bit more important, this battle. That Tiger P came out of the cap, but he did take out the Panzer T-25. And he's turning around now to try and deal with the KV-1. And this could be awkward for the KV-1. Can he get the round in? And round out. Oh, no, it hit the buildings. Oh, that's crucial. That might have an effect upon the outcome. And, oh, we just lost our Fifi down at the other end. And here's an AMX CLC on the prowl trying to come in, get a, um, a Pascucci, I should think. Or is he going to try and get... He's, he stopped to shoot, and he's hit him. Round out, and he takes him out. 180 hit points, one shot kill on the AMX. Now, 
there was a Type 64 in the valley area. Now we saw the shell going out from the M41 there. Now it looks to me like Juraj is actually uh, uh, repositioning himself. There's the enemy, uh, the enemy Type 64. And he shotguns him manually for a Radley Waters. Oh, he's just taking fire now. Ouch. And he's also picked up a Nadens medal. He killed all the light tanks on the enemy team. At least three light tanks as well. That would be the v uh, the uh, Leopard, the Type 64, and the AMX CLC. That's a very nice medal to get because those light tanks normally kill the RT, but in, he's done it the other way around. Unfortunately, we just lost the M41, who tried to take on the uh, T25 and got shot by the Tiger instead. Now, that Tiger P must be coming up from the town behind Juraj. Well, he shotguns the T25. But there must be that tiger behind him. If he pulls back, he'll probably get shot in the rear. So he's now caught between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea. If he moves forward, the T25 will get him. If he moves back, the Tiger P will get him. Oh, this is... Yep. This was rather mm, expected. Oh, dear. Well, good try. It was... He did get the Radley Waters. Uh, but sadly, it's all gone sour at the end. Um, the enemy managed to finish off his last member of his team, which was him. And let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, he got a first class tanker out of it. Uh, he also got a bruiser medal of getting at least five critical hits. He got 24 in that battle. He got a gauze medal for doing more damage, exceeding 10 times the hit points of his own vehicle. He got a Radley Walters for getting at least eight kills and a Nadens medal for killing all the light tanks on the enemy team, at least three. Um, and he picked up a high caliber medal for dealing the most damage in the battle. And lastly, a top gun for getting at least six kills. And we can see the kills that he made there. Oh, this is such a shame because the rest of the team let him down. He was doing so well right out the box, getting all those one shots. Well, he did 2,965 hit points of damage, far more than the Tiger P did. Um... He managed to get eight kills. Again, more than twice what any on the uh, uh, enemy team managed to get. And he managed to get base XP of 639. And that's pretty that's pretty good considering that he beats the, the same uh, the XP score of most of the members of the winning team who uh, got below that figure. Only the three top winning members on the enemy team who managed to score higher. So let's have a look at the detail report. Well, he only fired 12 rounds. He got 11 direct hits, 11 penetrations. So just about every shot he fired hit the mark or did something. He did damage of 2,965 hit points, of which 2,158 were at more than 300 meters. Obviously, the closest one was that uh, Type 64 and the T25 too, uh, both of which he actually hit at very close range. He did receive two hits, two penetrations, and I believe they were both from the T25-2. He actually damaged ten of the enemy, but killed eight of them. But he did do damage assistance, or stun assistance, rather, I should say, of 176 hit points of three stuns. And he managed to stop um, uh, or get 20 defense points uh, when he reset the cap. Um, on a premium count, he earned 37,830 credits, and he got a personal missions payout of 10,000, and the achievements award, because he did, after all, pick up epic medals, and that equalizes his score with that of the winning team. So his grand total came to 53,058 credits, and after repair and ammunition resupply, he was actually left with 27,196 credits. He received 959 XP, then he gets the Achievements Award there, 546, a Personal Reserves bonus of 1,505, and a Personal Missions Payout of 753, bringing his total to 3,763 experience points without any multipliers in there at all. So that's a very good haul with no multipliers. Um, so such a shame there, Juraj. That was an amazing display of how to handle with the M12. Most of your shots at the start of the battle, in fact, all of the shots at the start of the battle were hitting target bang on and, you know, wiping out these tanks one shot. It was beautiful display to watch. 
Uh, it was just such a shame that the rest of your team let you down and uh, uh, that you lost in the end. But uh, keep doing what you're doing and I'm sure that uh, you will have many game-winning uh, replays for us. Uh, if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it will be your replay that I'll be featuring in our next video.